One view from the streets of Taralgon. No nukes in the valley. A city just a stone's throw from Peter Dutton's Victorian nuclear future. Annoyed, frustrated and angry. We sit on an earthquake um, fault line. We, our ground is unstable. But opinion is divided. Well, I'm excited by it. News agent Ray Burgess sees good news in new jobs. This is a great opportunity for our region to uh, get a, uh, an industry that we can develop from the, the beginning and become experts in and, and bring a level of prosperity back to us that we haven't seen for a while. Yeah, absolutely. I think that the, the actual risk has been well overstated and overblown. Just as many uh, opportunities for jobs and prosperity in the, in the town with renewables. Nuclear power, it's gone. It's not, it's not going to suit this country and the opposition to it is going to be overwhelming. The state government's view is crystal clear. It is unfathomable. This is just a, a crazy policy. It's a half-baked idea. Nuclear power is outlawed in Victoria. To build a plant, legislation would need to be repealed. We will stand up for the Gippsland community and say no. The state wants 95% of its energy to come from renewable sources within 11 years. This is about delaying the renewable energy transition. This is about delaying uh, action on climate. Now, you have a look, these people have got form. The Coalition's plan presents a tricky path to tread for John Pesuto. As an alternative government, is that we have no plans for it. I can't be any clearer on that, we have no plans for it, but we acknowledge that a future federal government may initiate that discussion. I don't think we should be foreclosing that discussion or any aspect of it. Gippsland Nationals MP Darren Chester is more forthright in his support. The important thing to do now is have the conversation with the local community based on facts. We don't need a scare campaign. Both sides of politics think they can win this argument. Labor's position is unequivocal, while John Pesudo's coalition has left the door ajar, opening itself up to potential internal division and political sniping. Richard Willingham, ABC News, Melbourne.